Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing some Boosted, which is of course made by Dr. Teaspoon. But one of you had a really fun idea and left it in a YouTube comment. And that is that we're going to do 1 versus 5 Boosted, but the single player, me, is allowed to boost and the other side isn't. So it's it's Boosted for, for me, but I am by myself while I'm going up against 5 other heroes that are still getting the other benefits of Boosted, being enhanced experience, enhanced gold, faster respawns. But they are not allowed to boost. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get right into the games. Alright, so, we are Shadow Fiend. Which is a curious choice, I understand. I'm not sure if Shadow Fiend is the right way to go. We had single draft enabled, which meant we get to pick one out of four heroes, one of each attribute. And I had, what did I have? I had uh, Lion, Omni Knight, Shadow Fiend, and Clockwork. Now out of those, I think Lion is just... It's really difficult to make him work. If we somehow get ultimate scaling going, then yeah, he should be good, but probably not. Uh, I don't think that Omni Knight would really be able to do that much. He just doesn't have the damage output. Uh, and then we are left between Clockwork and Shadow Fiend. And like immediately, I think Clockwork is much safer. Like, let me say that right away. I think Clockwork is a much, much safer choice. Much more likely to just be generally useful. But, but... Shadow Fiend can actually kill buildings. And that's the thing. There's no different win condition in this, right? There's no alternative way of winning. We just have to kill their base. And I don't know how we do that if we don't just have some physical damage. And, and that's where Shadow Fiend comes in. So I think Shadow Fiend makes sense. I'm not 100% sure that he's the right choice, but oh well. Okay. We also have the normal, the normal difficulty. So what I mean with that is that it's just people have, uh, or like I have the normal uh, scaling, boosted scaling. I'm not sure if that's going to be fair or not, but that's what we're going to find out. <laughs> okay, uh, which one do I like here? I still don't, I haven't skilled anything yet. And I probably should. Range, stack range, turn rate percent. Alright, you know what? Let's just get ourselves the max souls here. So far, we're not really using our upgrades, but that's okay. Grab this. Then, movement speed reduction, that's not useful. Max souls, damage on return, stack duration. That's all nonsense. That's all nonsense. Let's get this. We're gonna need Aghanim's Scepter then. Like, Aghanim's Scepter will be really important. I'm just gonna... Be Shadow Fiend, you know? I, I mean, actually, I'm actually not doing anything special right now. I don't have an upgrade. My upgrades are to the Necromastery, but only the Aghanim Scepter enhanced one. So I'm actually just genuinely playing 1 vs. 5 right now. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing else going on there. It's just the 1 vs. 5. I am not boosted in any way. And the thing is that I don't actually get that many tickets. Right? Because to get tickets... Oh, well, that's that's nice. No, I can't get this one, too. But to get tickets, you need to actually have um, a team doing stuff around the map. And I don't have a team doing shit. So, uh, that's going to be tricky as well. Base damage. Which one is that? I Honestly, I don't know which one this is. Is that, is that the long one? So that, that's the short one, right? Is this the center one? My icon is different. I, I honestly, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Your monthly hope you are doing well. Oh well. no! Pika spin. I don't think we actually want to go for either one. Anyway, let's just get Max Souls, right? That's the right Max Souls upgrade too. We have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, no, this, this. Okay, good. Get this and just rush Aghanim Scepter. Once we have Aghanim Scepter, we'll actually be pretty strong. Damage per soul, huge. Huge. Now we actually hit kind of hard. Alright. Hey, Nameless Name 9, thank you very much for the 56 months. And hey, James Quickie, hope, hope you're gonna have a little bit of a good time here on my terrible, terrible stream. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pick up this Ogre Axe. There's my water. We're working on it. I mean, 
if I can get these remaining 700 gold without dying, then we'll be in really good shape. But to be honest, the Queen of Pain feeding herself to me already made all the difference. Now, maybe that's being that's being a little bit a little bit disingenuous because I mean she didn't actually feed herself to me. I did just manage to kill her. Should give myself a little bit more credit there. She was trying to kill me. It just didn't work. So uh who knows? Alright, Max Souls. Yep, yeah, that's the good Max Souls. Very nice. <sighs> well, we're working on it. And we'll take down these guys. Hey, it's just Shadowfiend, right? There we go. Okay. So now we have our Aghanim Scepter. I get extra souls. Pop this bad boy. It's not enough, right? Maybe? Nice. I like Shadowfiend. <laughs> Uh, this is a very nice hero. I'm a big, a big appreciator. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. Let's get this. This Aghanim's shard. A little bit of free disable. Sounds like a good idea. Maximum souls. That's the wrong maximum souls. Oh, we have so many things here. So many things. Uh, let's increase this. Is this even the right ability damage? Kill buff duration, reduction. Oh, this is nice. I do like that. Kunka? Oh, they're coming. Oh, I'm dead. There's no living that. Absolutely 0% chance of me surviving that. I think the Aghanim's shard is actually gonna have to wait. I really need to get some, some defense going. I need to be able to move around the map. We need Invis, we need Blink Dagger, we need BKB. People said, people said that this was gonna be basically impossible, right? For the Radiant. But I disagreed. I was like, we're not gonna get that many upgrades. And we are not getting a lot of upgrades. Like, we're getting some, but it's... It, oh. It's tricky. Okay. Now we'll get the critical damage here. That's actually really nice. Now the shard is definitely worth it again. Look at this. I'm not saying it's unwinnable, but I also don't think that it's as easy as it might seem at first glance. Okay. Oh no. Queen of Pain just hanging out up here. That's not good for me. Skunka over there. They're pushing. It's the next problem. If they just start breaking down buildings, we are definitely in a lot of trouble. The good news is that they can't really just fight me. I am strong enough for that. Yeah, I'm dead though. <laughs> it's not happening. Alright, damage per soul. I guess I need the Aghanim's shard. I need the Aghanim's shard. Because I gotta build up the souls, right? I have a lot of maximum souls, but it doesn't really matter if I can't actually get there. If I can't get the souls. Alright, extra attack speed. It's good. Souls per kill. Um, is that even useful? Requiem soul conversion. Oh, I don't know which way is good. Do we want that to be higher or lower? Oh, that's annoying. Let's just get, let's just get more of this. More reduction there. Nice. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> it certainly hurts. It is powerful. Let's get more reduction. Pick up this. Plus three damage per soul. That actually makes a huge difference. I just got my items. Okay, Blink Dagger, Shadow Blade. And then we run, run, run. 
BKB. Alright. Run. Yeah, that's okay. I don't know if they have dust. Are they going for this? That's a shame. There was definitely a chance that I, I catch him. And I get a kill or two. Max souls goes up. So we had 41 maximum souls now. Gotta take this. Do 2,000 damage with one of those. Okay. One hit. Is one hit enough? Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's where Shadow Fiend, sh that's where Shadow Fiend shines. It's not even just that we have high attack damage, but the minus armor makes all the difference. Like, it's just... It's so much. It's so much minus armor. Okay, now I understand I definitely need to be doing this. Apologies. I've been uh, letting that slide and I really shouldn't. Because it's also upgrades and that's actually important. Alright, critical damage goes up. I gotta make sure that when I swing, people die. Right? It's not always gonna be possible for me to actually get an attack out. So I gotta really be absolutely certain that if I do, it's enough. Okay, there's a Queen of Pain. It's an illusion. Uh-huh. Oh, I missed. <laughs> no, thank you. I am just gonna take that kill and then get out of there. More crit damage. Shadow Ray supplies attack damage. There is... What's it called? The Kunkka over here, right? Right here? There we go. Blade Mail? I don't care. Blade Mail is not a guarantee to save you. Oh, you gotta be careful, Queen of Pain. You do not have the survivability for this. Okay, that's fine. Go down here. Hello. One more. Oh, nice. It's not gonna be enough. Alright, we have a huge amount of gold. Just way too much, frankly. <laughs> so, uh, let's get... What's probably the most important item now? Just uh, the Revenant's Brooch. Wait, I can't crit anymore. Never mind. Maybe that's not good. Yeah, I mean, is the is the Your middle tower is the Acrophos even a problem? Probably not, right? Like it's probably fine actually. All right, damage per soul, we had 15. I think we can just kill their base. Probably. Right? I mean, towers are a bit tanky, but nothing we can't handle. That's fine. I just need literally one moment. Okay, there's that. Oh, I missed. Oh, no! There we go. Here's another one. What's that? Meteor armor. Dead. One more. There we go. Ultra kill. Unfortunately, this is canceling my stuff right now. Oh, I'm going in, my friend. I want to kill this dude. There's another one. Okay. 
Oops. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> maybe a little bit deep in there. Maybe maybe going a little too hard. Hello. Don't TP on a shadow fiend. Hey, this you should you should know better than that. <laughs> that's that's just silly. That's yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Okay, I am running out. I, I can kill anything that gets close, but there's a lot of disable now coming my way. That's it, yeah. That'll definitely do it. Movement speed, fear duration per soul. Yeah, we have a lot of upgrades that just, like, don't really do much. That's that's maybe a bit of a problem with Shadow Fiend, but oh well. Okay, so, we have a lot of money, and we need to spend it on something. I'm not entirely sure what to spend it on. Do we care about Shadowblade? I feel like I needed Shadowblade early on. I don't know if I still need it, to be honest. I think at this point we can probably get rid of it. We get this, uh, we get Moonshard. What's our next plan here? What's our play? Do we just try to end? We probably should just try to end the game. So we definitely want a refresher. Wait, I don't need a bottle. I'll just drop this to get the points. Um, maximum souls, damage per soul. Yeah, let's up that. Fear duration, I guess. Radius, let's get this. Who cares? And... Just get MKB. Is that good? Is that helpful? Hmm. Your top tower is under Maybe this? They don't have that much evasion, but I, I don't like that I'm getting stuck. Right? Getting stuck isn't good. Getting stuck isn't helpful. Missing quite a bit. Only against one of them. Specifically, the uh, Elder Titan seems to be able to survive my attacks at the most fortune moments. But everybody else uh, I am just kind of killing, right? Alright. Oh, that Reaper side. No, oh, oh, just... No, I couldn't hit! Damn. That sucks. That actually... That's actually... That's actually not good. I couldn't, I couldn't get an attack out. See, this is where Revenant's Brooch would be like, uh, would be nice. But the problem with Revenant's Brooch is we can't critical strike anymore. We can't use our Aghanim's shard properly then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, they're pushing. Do we just backdoor? Can we backdoor quickly enough? <laughs> oh, VKB is on cooldown. Do I push faster than they do? I mean, certainly, right? Hmm. There we go. We got one of them. That's fine. Getting even a single kill actually makes a really big difference. Because it just slows this down, right? It makes it so that they aren't really in a great spot to continue on. We don't need this. They're still pushing. I was apparently full of shit. Oh. But we have a new plan. Oh yeah, I'm way faster. Are they leaving? Some. It's not enough. You're gonna need more than those two. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but it stopped the push. Alright, that's the important thing. That broke the push. I am much faster. Much, much faster. If it comes to pushing a base. This is not... This is not one-sided at all. But I'm glad that we managed to get this. Because this is important. This is valuable. Since now... I can actually go and and have my BKB ready again. 
right? And I need BKB if I want to fight him. I, I don't stand a chance without it. They are just chipping away at my buildings. Okay, let's pick up this. I don't know how much detection they have. Oh, plenty apparently. Okay, we go. We get out of there. Goodbye, 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 friends. Don't want to fight you. Oh. <laughs> hey, I actually don't mind that one. That actually seems pretty nice. Increased our critical damage. So that's 8,000 damage now. Although that's before the minus armor which we apply. We apply. So it's actually way more than that. Probably time to just take this top. Top tower. Mm-hmm. Cliff. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's a kill, and now we run. Yules. Invis. Damage per soul. Up it goes. Is the Queen of Pain still pushing? That's funny. I respect that the Queen of Pain just keeps going. She's just like, I'm gonna get this fucking building. <laughs> this is going to happen. We will kill this building. They should have seen me. Okay. Mm-hmm, that's fine. I just need one attack. In this, maybe? Ooh. Okay. We do have buyback. They're pretty far away. We probably don't have to use it. Critical damage. So, this hit should just kill things, right? Like, the, I don't think there's anybody that can survive this one attack. And their base is somewhat exposed. The problem is just like, how do I get in there? Base damage, this is all useless. Yeah, that's definitely, I guess, a bit of a, a problem with Shadow Fiend, right? Oh, there is. There's the push. Refresh us from cooldown, right? Yeah, it doesn't... You can't just leave it in the base to cool it down. You actually need to cool it down. Alright, that's one down. It's another one down. Okay. Just need one attack. There we go. Ultra. Go, go, go. <laughs> Respawn times are low. Which means I don't have that much time. It's just the normal boosted settings. Uh, I'm not sure how good they are for me. Okay, come on. I'm just gonna go for the building. Like, I will die, that's okay. Oh, I gotta put this back in here. Your bottom tower is under attack. TP in. It's just coming down to, to backdooring now. <laughs> that's it. That's just backdoor city. <clears throat> Should get a Wind Waker. I don't know if Wind Waker it, it would really do much, right? Like, then I spin in the air, and, and what's next? I don't see that really being all that beneficial. Oh, no. Okay. Mm-hmm, there it is. This arm, um, everything else, that's okay. So buyback is four, right? 
That's why they gave us that ability. Okay, how's our ancient looking? It's still alive. Gotta dodge that. Just one hit. Fuck! Alright. Me half. That. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so we are we're alive. Kind of. Oh my god. We are hanging in there. I can't just defend. I need to go, right? I need to just go. I need to try and kill him. Because if I just hang back and defend, I, I can't I can't win this fight. I can't. There's just too many of them. They have too much disable. Oh, that's actually huge. Okay, run, run, run. Run. Your bottom tower has fallen. I don't think they can catch me now. But this is a problem. I don't... Ugh, you gotta go. No! 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 God damn it! It's just... It's hard. It's not... It's not that easy. Oh, man. Sorry, sorry, friends. I, I know there's lots of recommendations coming from chat, but can I say one thing? Brooch wouldn't be good for us. I know everybody always wants Brooch because Brooch makes you deal magic damage, right? But you gotta keep in mind, we actually deal more than pure damage in that game. Because I gave everybody minus 50 armor. So they have negative amounts of armor. My physical damage is amplified. It's not just that magic damage would be not that good, but it's actively worse than just my physical damage because of all the minus armor, right? But damn, we didn't, we didn't, we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. All right. One more? <laughs> One more? Want to try again? I want to I wanna do it. I think we can do it. All right. One more. One more. Okay. We got ourselves Mars. There were some difficult decisions to be made. It came down to Nyx Assassin versus Mars. And I think both have merit, but I decided to go with Mars because Nyx Assassin just doesn't really have any damage output. I was worried about that. Mars at least has some damage, although I don't know if it's going to be enough. But we're just going to have to try, right? Uh, their team is unbelievably scary. I don't know how we would ever be able to kill that with Nyx Assassin. So I guess I'm glad that we ended up with, with Mars. But also, I'm worried that Death Prophet is just going to kill all of our buildings. I don't know. I'm going to stop that. I think with Mars, we could go for, or we could try to build some sort of Bulwark Aghanim Scepter style. But I honestly think that the right thing to do is to just, just try and build value right just level up spear of mars level up god's rebuke make it so that we have four abilities that are all good that are all impactful that we can all use in some sort of effective manner and as long as we do that i think we might be all right spear speed distance oh this is all kind of shit Okay, bonus damage. So this is the soldiers, soldier count. I mean, that might be okay. It just requires Aghanims, but none of those were good. We're looking primarily for anything that gives us damage. If we can get damage in some capacity, then that's really nice for us. 
So which account matter? Not really. Like, maybe, possibly, but like not during the early game, which is when things are most difficult. No, that's not true. Late game is difficult, too. <laughs> it's all difficult. It always sucks. Duration might be okay on this, but let's just get damage per second. Problem is that that requires the Aghanim shard. One of the things that I'm worried about is that last game, I actually managed to get two early kills. And I think that made a huge difference. If I don't get those two early kills, right, how do I possibly perform as well as I did? I just can't. And so... I'm hoping that... Maybe we can get lucky here, but I, I feel like against their team, that's just not going to happen. Right? Like, who do I kill here? I'm just going to need to get damage upgrades and hope that I can slam a Spear of Mars on somebody. And I think that's got to be the entirety of it. Trail radius damage. See, that's good. That's good. I need damage upgrades. Ah. <laughs> Chen, the real MVP, coming in already. That was actually huge. I had a, I had a chance there. I had a chance. Come here, pick this up. We've got some mana region now. If I get one more damage upgrade on the Spear of Mars, though, I think it is possible for us to get a kill. I mean, to be honest, it was already possible right there. We nearly had it, right? This may seem like a weird ward, but I think there's a very real chance of somebody using this thing to gank me from behind. I'm also playing in the bottom lane right now, as opposed to playing in the mid. I actually felt the mid was really vulnerable, so I thought, let's, let's try the safe lane. I'm not convinced this is better, but, you know, mid didn't feel great. I just, I don't think there is a good lane, to be completely honest. So, gotta do what we can do. Get this, thank you. Pick up you. We wanna get ourselves the uh, magic wand. Ah, I was hoping to take that myself. Pop this. God's Rebuke. They're just pushing. That's okay. I'm, I don't mind that. I'm much more worried about getting ganked, if I'm honest. So, on that note... We just build stats, right? I just gotta get a couple of braces. I mean, until I get a kill... We're gonna need some sort of miracle, really. Come on. Has a long duration. Nice. Perfect. That's huge. Huge. Speed damage. Oh, that's the ultimate. Why not? Why not? We're gonna want to use the ultimate, right? And I think I'm just gonna get a Desolator. I think I'm just gonna get a Desolator. I wanna get that early power. I wanna see if I can snowball kills. Right? And if I can get an upgrade here on the crit damage, then that should actually make all the difference. That's my phrase today, right? All the difference. Hmm. It is what it is. Alright, duration up. We'll take the epics. Gotta go for the value, right? Okay, there is a death prophet. She's scary. Mostly because she silences. So, uh, BKB time! That's right. I've played the video game before. Duration, speed damage, damage. There we go. Get more of this. I gotta make sure that when I hit somebody with one of these, it kills them. Alright. Dragonite is pushing up the top. Maybe Invis is better? So I can try and catch somebody off guard? Oh, they see it. No, well, they probably don't know where I'm going, though. Nice. Alright, with that, we nearly have a BKB. Well, oh, there we go. Ring of Blood leveled up. Bulwark leveled up. Level 14. 
Pick this up. This stuff as well. Duration. Oh, man. That's a... There we go. Critical damage. Critical damage scales so aggressively. That I think it's going to be nice to have. Radius. Is bigger radius better? Probably not. Chen is pushing. Hello. Yeah. They're just taking down my base. That's definitely a concern. Minus three seconds cooldown. So a question I had last time, or like a thought I had about last game, is whether or not Octarine Core would have been good. Octarine Core, Octarine Core. Lower the cooldown on my on my BKB. Because that's what it came down to, right? I needed BKB. Damage. Oh no. Okay, that's fine so far. Should probably get Aghanim Scepter, right? I think having to manually attack will be incredibly difficult. Oh no, it's just pushing everywhere. <laughs> it's just, it's just pushing everywhere. I'm coming, coming into the top. Blink Dagger would be really good as well. There's just so many things I need. Okay, that's that should be two kills. Maybe not two. That took a lot longer than I wanted it to. Alright, more damage on this. But I'm pretty happy about getting one kill. So we have Aghanim Scepter now. And here we go. We've got extra soldiers for extra value. <laughs> got a Blink Dagger. Sell this, get this. Get Aghanim Shard just for any sort of additional damage. Pushing bottom. We'll have to play entirely defense. I don't know if I'm ever getting out of this base, honestly. Soldier count. I guess a couple more. No. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, if the ultimate is going to be uh, active for that long, then we're already going be, gonna to be screwed. Okay. I mean, I am kind of farming. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I'm getting a couple of creep kills. It's somewhat okay. If they ever want to get in here proper, then they're going to need to put up a bit more of a... bit more of an effort. Because as is, it's not going to be enough. No. Oh, yeah. Right. That makes sense. I don't think I want the radius to be bigger, actually. Tiny does way too much pushing. He didn't know that? They have detection? Does he have a gem? Gem would make sense. I don't know why they would have detection right there. They didn't know I have... Didn't know I have my... 
Shadowblade yet. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. It's just, it's a disaster. It is not going well. <laughs> oh man, friends, I don't know. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need to be able to pick here. If I'm gonna have any shot at this, I'm gonna need to be able to pick. Because this is honestly... It's, it's unwinnable. I, I don't know what to do. I got some kills, you know, I have some money, but it's just too many heroes. Yeah, I needed to deal damage first. I mean, at least it does slow him down, which is what I wanted. But I... Okay. Smaller radius. Hmm. I mean, I guess the satanic. No. Going meeple? <laughs> Maybe. Then we can fight on even ground. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm dead. I just, I don't do enough damage. It's too many heroes. I, I haven't had a chance to really upgrade my damage enough. And I've been playing defense the entire game. Shadow Fiend hits hard. Mars, not quite to the same extent. And so that was not even close. I never stood a chance here. Alright. I okay, just, I cannot take him on at all. Too many heroes coming in from too many sides. Yeah, that's important to keep in mind, right? They do have golden experience, like quite a lot of it. <laughs> okay. One more try. But, one rule change. I get to pick. <laughs> let me let me just pick a hero. I, I, single draft is making this too difficult. Let me let me pick. I need to pick. All right. It was all pick. Our opponents have some filthy heroes, but we have Lashrock. I went with Lashrock because we can use Edict to just deal huge constant AOE damage that you can't stop. You cannot cancel it. And it also pushes buildings. So we are going to use Pulse Nova. Pulse Nova will be part of the plan. But actually, Edict is the primary goal. Edict is our primary ability. At least that's the idea. We'll see if it works. We'll see what we can make happen. We're gonna need to work really, really hard for it. But that's just it. One problem with Lashrock is that it will be difficult to actually get an early kill. But uh, maybe we can just like level up Lightning Storm and it'll be enough. Ursa to burst it on. I'm actually not worried about Ursa because we can just get Nihilism up to 25 seconds duration. Although, I don't know. Actually, just get it up there. I mean, time is an issue, right? It's not that quick to just level that up so many times. So maybe that's maybe that's more of a concern. Oh my god, never mind. I'm going in a different lane. Okay. Sure. Have fun, I guess. Explosions, ability damage. Wait, can you increase duration? You can increase duration. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Interesting. So we'll get the damage up. Wait, is that even right? No, ability damage doesn't do anything with this, right? That's actually a lie, because it doesn't scale anything. It doesn't say anything. So we'll just get increased explosions. That's pretty much the same thing anyway. I am taking damage from something, no? 
All right, here this. Okay, just kind of uh, throwing out a little bit of nuking damage. Nothing too crazy. Edict. And then we will increase... Just keep going with the explosions. Your top is under Just keep going with the explosions. Okay. Pick a void stone for some mana. Hello. That's a kill. Sick. Might even be a second one. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's so huge. They way underestimated how much damage Edict does. I mean, it's a it's an easy ability to underestimate, but I I picked this hero for the spell, and come on, I'm not stupid. <laughs> I didn't do this just because I like Lashrock. I mean, I like Lashrock. That was part of the consideration, but it's not the sole reason. So, increase duration is huge. We need to get the duration of this to be high enough that we can just kind of loop it and apply infinity edicts. Um, and we can just kind of like keep applying more and more and more of them. Problem is that increased duration actually also lowers the DPS of it, but it's still worth it. Right? It's still worth it. It's still something we want to do. We just want to upgrade both. That's it. All right, let's get Octarine Core. We have some spell life steal. Didn't need to activate that, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, we've got some spell life steal now, which is really handy. They're probably pushing somewhere, doing something. Who cares? Okay. Seems that has taught them some respect, and that's what I like. <laughs> Damage resistance. Does that work? I'm not going to skill it, because I'm not confident it works, and I don't want to waste upgrades on something that doesn't work. Alright. Yeah. We can decrease the mana cost of the ultimate, yes, but Edict is more important. I know damage resistance is a level 20 talent. I, I am aware of what it is. That doesn't mean it works. Right? I'm not going to go for it this game. We could go for it some other game, if I was just playing regularly boosted. Then I would gladly invest a million points into it and then realize that the talent actually is hard-coded. Uh, but right now seems like the wrong, wrong time for that. Okay. Yeah, they're pushing bottom. That's fine. Pick up this. Damage, ability duration. No, I'm just gonna keep going Edict. I think Edict is just more important. Oh, that should be it. No, the stun got me. Maybe? Nice. Huge. Huge. Okay, more of this. So you can see now we have two of these going on at the same time. That makes it... <clears throat> you know, just kind of something we can start looping a little bit. Alright, grab this. Although I do also need to make sure we actually upgrade it. Like, the upgrade the number of explosions. We need both. Definitely need both. Vitality booster. Radius. Um, radius isn't as important. It's already kind of... I guess... Yeah, fuck it. I think that's fine, actually. Let's just get more radius. And I can keep casting it every time it's ready. Because I have enough mana at this point that we restore enough mana passively that it's fine. That's a problem. Might be dead here. Probably dead, yeah. It's okay. It's gonna happen. Against those heroes... Uh, sometimes you will just die. <laughs> Not really much we can do. 
But as long as we just kind of uh, manage to maintain some semblance of economy, we should be all right. Okay, uh, damage is good. Oh, radius. What was that? Sorry, I just clicked uh, some button then. Oh, and honestly, I'm not even sure what the button was. Alright, here's my Octarine Core. Thank you very much. A big enjoyer of Octarine Core. Take these. At this point, we want to prioritize uh, the number of explosions. Pushing mid. That's not good. I'm not a fan of that. Radius, uh, explosions. I'm gonna get one point into this. I wanna see if it works. No, it doesn't. Damn it. It sucks. <laughs> it would be really nice if I could actually upgrade that. Alright, mana per second, we can lower this. If I can get the mana cost low enough, I can just have it on, like, can just have it active passively, and that would be really good. Lincoln Sphere. Okay, there's Ursa. Aghanim Scepter will be good too. No, they're gonna come and back him up immediately. Throw down this. This ward is literally just there to back me up right now for this one thing I'm doing here while they're pushing mid. I'm gonna push top. Alright. No, uh, that's fine. Shard radius increase. It's actually interesting, but it's not it. More damage. Gotta be more damage. I actually, I gotta get boots. Gotta get bigger boots, better boots. Bigger boots, better boots. Every time. Radius is okay. Uh, Fairy Trinket is actually really nice. Yeah, that's fine. Take your Roshan, I'm not so fast. If you get to a point that Roshan, like that the edges are triggered, then I'm actually already pretty happy about the, the fight. Okay, we've got this now. Nope, you're dead. Nice. We get extra damage reduction here. We will get increased duration. They have a 25,000 gold lead? Well, that's not good. <laughs> thanks for thanks to our commentary uh, squad here. Well, now I'm, I'm a little bit worried. 25,000 gold, that's a lot of money. Hey, Solka, thanks for the four months. Appreciate it. Aghanim Scepter. Although, I'm not sure how useful that will actually be, but might as well. Right? Your middle tower is under They're pushing here. So be it. They are respectful. That's good. That's really good. Purity. Means they are worried. And that gives me time. All I need. Give me time. Because if I can just survive for long enough, eventually they can't buy any more items, but I can continue boosting. And then I can hopefully take them all down and destroy their base. <laughs> That's the plan, at least. <laughs> hey, bud. Okay. Yeah, it's probably not happening. <clears throat> we 
Rashawn will give you 500 tickets. Well, Rashawn is dead. I actually should go back. I'm a, a little low on mana, and if Nyx Assassin hits me with his ultimate, right, then I lose 50% of it, and that would be bad. I have not gotten any fucking damage, and it's really annoying. How am I not getting any damage upgrades? That's really what I need here. I, I, I need I need a bunch of bunch of damage upgrades, please. Alright, we got one kill. We're doomed. We are gonna do some damage at the very least. Probably time to buy back. That's that's the big ultimates down. I don't think they can take me on while those are down. And I just I gotta find my damage upgrades. That's it. I just I haven't found them. I haven't found the damage upgrades. But they are there. They exist. There we go. See? It's just a matter of actually getting there. And that's just a matter of time. Okay. Diabolic Edict Explosions. Ability Duration. That's a bit more sketch. Do we try this? We don't have any great upgrade here. So I am actually, despite my resistance to it earlier, I'm going to get a point of this. I'm just going to get one point of it. I'm not going to invest more unless I get another roll like that, right? But who knows? Maybe it does work. And if it does work, 35% uh, damage reduction is actually a huge deal. <laughs> so. Oh, wow. That has so much range. But we have our stuff active, so... All right, we got a kill at least. Probably dead. Maybe get a second kill. Yeah. Damn. I just I need damage. Why am I not getting damage? You you can't be serious. How are none of these damage upgrades? <laughs> Your bottom tower is under attack. <laughs> That's so bad. Oh shit. That's actually that's that's the that's the only problem. This that's it. That's it. If I just if I got anything that did damage. It's not like they don't exist. There are lots of upgrades that make you deal damage. <laughs> oh no. Okay. No, I need to slam these and hope that it's just kind of enough. We gotta just get gotta get some damage upgrades and then who knows. Explosions. Yeah, I guess that's that's some damage. Damage resistance, mana per second. Fuck. I mean it's not it's the only thing, right? It's the only thing that does anything? Damage? Oh my god. Bounce twice? I guess... I guess this? Is that it? Okay. <laughs> We're encountering a very specific issue. <laughs> oh no. We're doomed. I mean, I got one of them. It's just not enough. God damn it. Alright, I don't think they can finish getting Mage Slayer by the game. I'm getting Mage Slayer by the game. <laughs> Not by you! You guys aren't doing shit! <laughs> oh my god, if I had just... Alright, it's fine. Uh, 
shit, fuck it. More damage resistance, right? Because it's not I got nothing else. Explosions? That's something. Okay. I get another one of these active. Here, just get a heart, literal heart, who cares? Just literally anything, right? I know it doesn't help against Doom, but nothing helps against Doom. It's not over yet. It's just kind of hard. Damage. Yes! Oh my god. It does exist. It does exist. Oh, there it is. There it is. Now? I mean, if I get into any of these situations we were in earlier again. Yeah, they're just kind of slamming Meteor Armors. I mean, what can I do about it? Like, it might just be too late. It might just be too late, but... Now we might be able to win a fight. I think we're actually pretty favored. Okay. Yeah, a nice mage slayer, buddy. <laughs> How are we feeling about that mage slayer now, huh? <laughs> oh, he's just backdooring me. Okay. Look at this. More upgrades. More explosions. More explosions. Y'all, y'all are just the most annoying. Yeah, problem is now I can't really like rely on backdoor protection anymore, right? Because with the two lanes down. How do I ever get map control? Alright, that's good. Reduce mana cost per second. Reduce mana cost per second. And... I mean, I might actually be able to do a little bit now. Oh, hello. Ooh, you just way, way overstepped. Go, 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 go. Tower down. It's just the barracks. I can't, I can't really do enough. They're going for our ancient. Oh. Are you gonna go for it now? I mean, I can't run back to base in time. They're just gonna do it. Oh, come on! Really? Like that? I can't. That's it. Man, this is so winnable. This is so winnable. <laughs> if I had just gotten any damage upgrades ever! Oh, that sucks! That is so winnable. But we didn't. We didn't win. Maybe we'll win some other time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.